three kundalini breathing exercises for balance. Breathing is key to life. You're not breathing, you're not living, but most of us aren't breathing properly. And most of us aren't using the magic of our breath to help us live each day, each moment more effectively and happily. So that is what we're talking about today. Now, before we get to the goods, you give us what you've got check and see if you're a subscriber here. And if you're not, please click that subscribe button and the bell so that you'll get notifications when you log into YouTube that we've given you some more information, something new, another video. So today we're talking about breathing. So Pixie is a yoga instructor and she is an expert in breathing. So we teach breathing to our clients, but I'm really interested in the Kundalini side of this. So I'm certified in Kundalini and that is really an energy system um, that you work with all the chakras as well as all of the different areas of the body. Kundalini is said to reside at the base of the spine um, and you can feel that energy moving up. And as you do that, and as you become more clear and open, you are really activating your highest potential. So as someone- Is that akin to chi? Yeah. Kundalini energy, Is is that the same thing? Very, very similar. Um, It's more of an energy and they explain this in yogic traditions where it's like the sun and the moon. So like the active and the receiving are kind of like moving up and it looks almost like the health symbol because they are kind of like those two little snakes just like moving up the body. So yeah. Very cool. Um, But Kundalini to me, I used it for healing. And so this is just one of the tools that I want to give people because the more we can release the stress, become more peaceful, the more we can alleviate tons of symptoms. So the first one I want to start with is a breathing exercises that we're going to do um, to really <laughs> to help release anxiety and also balance both hemispheres of the brain. So it's called alternate nostril breathing, and you may have done it before. Many times. You want to go ahead and take your right hand and take your right thumb, and you're just going to gently plug your right nostril. We're going to look funny for a second. It's fine. <laughs> whatever so you're gonna inhale through the left take the ring finger now plug the left open the right and exhale inhale through the right plug the right open the left and exhale and then you just keep going <laughs> Plugging and opening. And I invite you to just close your eyes for a moment and just try this breathing, slowly inhaling, feeling your body fill up with that beautiful breath. And as you close and open the other side, slowly exhale, slowly let go of any anxieties, anything that's holding you back. So this is said to gently start to calm the nervous system. If you do find that you're having a panic attack, for example, or you feel really nervous, this is a great breath to do. Just go ahead and do one more on either side. And as you exhale, release the hand and take a nice inhale through the nose. And you can open your eyes when you're ready. So how do you feel, Dr. Jane? Very relaxed, very calm, uh, very good. Not not relaxed, like I want to go take a nap, but relaxed, balanced, which this is for balance. So yay. I have a question now. So I've done alternate nostril breathing. I didn't realize that it was a Kundalini uh, technique, but I've done that many times. I actually do it in the morning to prepare myself for meditation. Yeah. Um, and to make sure that my channels are balanced, my moon and sun channel. Um, but I've always, I was taught to do it with your thumb and pinky, just like folding your, you know, this, yeah. does it matter? Cause you said ring finger specifically. So that's what I did. Cause I'm very good at following instructions. Um, so <laughs> does it matter what finger? Um, no, it doesn't really matter. That's how I was taught. And then we were taught like the different meanings of the fingers. So your ring finger is all about love. And so I like to use my thumb, obviously, because that's the easiest and it's about your ego and then the love to really embody that loving acceptance of self. But your pinky can be related to mercury and communication. So maybe that's what you're needing to focus on is how you're communicating. 
Fantastic. And that's a whole different video. <laughs> every time, every time we create one of these videos for you all, we're like, oh yeah, and there's another one. So we're just going to keep going. It's like, I don't know, some sort of an avalanche. <laughs> every topic leads to another topic. And if we say something that, that makes you think, gee, I want to know more about that. And we don't go deeper into it. Tell us in the comments, we'll come back. We we've made videos for people because they've specifically requested. So come on, tell us what you want. We'll make it for you. Yeah. We love talking about this. So absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So alternate nostril breathing, number one, we've got yeah. two more breathing yeah. methods. So what's, what's number two and what's its purpose. So that was to reduce, reduce anxiety, bring us into this moment. What's really the purpose of the second one you're going to teach us. The second one is canon breath. And this one is really to release nervousness, but also to bring focus to the body. So this is a great breath to use if you're about to take a test. It's a really good one. Um, if you're job a, interview, I was just thinking, interview, yeah, yeah, all of those things, make a big presentation or something. Fantastic. Good. I'm sure that a lot of people need that. I think it makes you nervous, but like, you're like, I have to be focused for this. This is a really cool breath to use that I used to teach to my students. So again, you can make sure both of your feet are on the floor and you can start to just close the eyes and just start to feel the inhale again, just moving into the body, expanding the rib cage, expanding the belly and then exhale just naturally. And this time when you inhale, inhale as deeply as you can and just hold the breath for a second, make a circle with the mouth and then push all the breath out. So it's like a powerful, like you're pushing out a cannon. So inhale again. And when you do this, you're using the navel energy to push that breath. So it allows your body to become more active and therefore you become a little bit more focused. One more time. Beautiful. And just come back to your natural breath. Start to open the eyes when you're ready. And that to me is a really good one also for purifying and for cleansing as well as focusing. So yeah. Yeah, that really, you know, because of the use of the, the abdominal muscles, the belly, I really felt an activation in my root and sacral chakras. It's so good. It's one of my favorite ones. And you're right. Like it brings all that up. So. Yeah. So that wouldn't just, uh, just going to the medical side of things that breath specifically wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're in the middle of a high anxiety panic attack or something like that, any of the power breaths like that, you want to stay away from because you already have that high power energy inside you. And that's a nervous energy. So you'd want to go with the alternate nostril breathing to help calm that down, to bring peace. So this breath would be something if you are having a little bit of nervousness, like, like Pixie said, but not if you're in the middle of a panic attack, go with the alternate nostril breathing um, instead, just from a health perspective, because that hard um, or strong use of your abdomen at that point could actually increase your production of stress hormones at that moment. So you're not going to want to do anything that's, that's has a lot of, um, a lot of speed or strength to it. If you are in that anxious mode. So just, just medically speaking, we need to, to make sure that we're understanding what the downside of it could be if you're using it at the wrong point. Yeah. And there's also another breath. If you want to look it up called Satali Pranayam, that's really good. If you have anxiety, I'm not going to teach that one today, but it's a really good breath to use. We'll to teach it at breath. another time. Teach it another time. <laughs> so mm -hmm. the last breath we're going to do is really good for detoxifying the bloodstream. Um, it's really good if you feel like you're coming down with something and it helps you to release uh, those toxins in your body that are holding you back. Great. So it's called breath of fire. And it's a fun little one to do. Everyone will do it with their eyes closed. <laughs> so can I, can I interrupt you for just one second? Yeah, before you use it? Before. This is again, not one to do. If you're suffering from anxiety, you want, a, this brings your energy up a lot. And if you are not suffering from anxiety and you wish to lose weight, do this 
for up to five minutes every day and it will, you will lose weight. Yeah. Yeah. So hundred percent accurate, which is <laughs> crazy. Um, so you're going to just take, just take both hands and just place them on your belly. So you can really feel the breath moving in and out. And you're going to go ahead and just close the eyes gently. And once again, as you inhale, feel the belly rising. And then as you exhale, feel the belly coming back in again. And just do that a couple of times, just really breathing in deep. I know sometimes we breathe like right into our chest, but I want you to really feel the lungs and rib cage and stomach expand as you inhale and then really pushing that breath out. So when you are ready, you can go ahead and stick the tongue out of the mouth. And you're going to inhale about halfway. And then I want you to use the navel to pu push the breath out. So it's going to sound like this. And you'll feel the belly move out as you inhale quickly and push that breath belly in as you push the breath out. As you feel comfortable going a little bit faster, you can put the tongue inside the mouth and just do it through the nostrils. And you should really be feeling that energy being pushed out, being pushed out. Again, this is really good again for purifying, not good if you're dealing with any anxiety, but releasing toxins, creating more focus. Do the breath a few more times and then take a nice deep inhale, hold the breath. And exhale out of the mouth. And gently start to open the eyes whenever you're ready. That always makes me feel a little tingly. Yeah. yeah. That's what I love about that breath. It's like it brings it all up here and you're just like, oh, I am alive. <laughs> I've never started with my tongue out before. The only one that I've ever done with my, my tongue out would be the lion's breath. Yeah. But yeah, that's... And I love doing that one when you are angry or upset and it just, it always ends up making me laugh and you can't really laugh and be really angry at someone at the same time. So well, that does that. And yeah, this is pretty similar. And you're really trying to detoxify the thyroid when you're doing that and just release from that energy space. But then if you do it through the nostrils, it's totally fine too. It's whatever feels good. And you can actually speed up. I didn't get to the full speed that I've, I've gone before, but honestly, if you do that breath, for five minutes, once a day, do it for 30 days. And if you're trying to lose weight, see, cause I've, I've had people come back and say, oh my gosh, I lost four pounds and I didn't change anything else. And so, Hey, if five minutes a day of breathing that, that beats running for people who don't like to run. So I know. it's like easy. And it also helps you to breathe deeper, which is another great experience after you do it. So it does, and it strengthens your abdominal muscles, which helps you to stand up straight. And, um, yeah, everything's good. <laughs> it helps all sorts of things. Oh, so Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for teaching those and everyone seriously breathe. We've got breathing, um, exercises here on our guild coaching YouTube channel. There's a guided breathing bubble. If you don't like doing the breathing exercises with your eyes closed, it's actually an animation that helps guide you in and out. We have guided breathing, guided meditations, a whole playlist uh, for guided, guided things. So please check that out because pretty much everything that you need in this area is right here. And if there is something that you need and you don't have from us, then tell us and we'll make it for you. Yeah. Comment. Look at the links below. We have tons of stuff for you. Yep. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell so that you know the next time that we drop a video like this to help you live a happier, more fulfilled, successful life. Awesome. Bye, guys.